Well, yeah. I mean, at the time, the FBI director, J. Edgar Hoover, he said the mafia doesn't exist. Yeah. Hmm. And that was based on the rumor that he was gay and they had pictures of him cross-dressing. So there was a little bit of a leverage situation. He also had, you know, Hoover had also relationships with some of the mobsters and particularly Mickey Cohen, who was the chief mobster here in Los Angeles. And Hoover and his, his partner um, would come out by partner, I mean his, uh, you know, romantic partner, Clive Tolson, would come out here to bet on the horse races. And they were, we were given, you know, vouchers by, by Cohen. So, and this is pretty well documented. Um, and so that, you know, there were other reasons that he may want, not wanted to have exposed the mafia, but there were individual police um, uh, captains and commanders in the city police, including here in Los Angeles, who knew the mafia existed, who were, uh, who were, had active organized crime units in New York City and New Orleans and in California. And they were all doing, they were the only people in the country who were investigating organized crime. My father became close to those guys. Okay. So your dad is going after the mafia and he actually called it, his quote was, Basically, there's a private government of organized crime with an annual income of billions resting on a base of human suffering and moral corrosion. And during his time, organized crime figures, convictions rose by 800%. So he was putting a lot of people in prison. And he went after Hoffa. He had something called the Get Hoffa Squad. And him and Hoffa were almost like mortal enemies. Hoffa even said there was a blood feud <laughs> between him and your dad. Yeah. And Hoffa eventually ended up going to prison. Yeah, and Hoffa and then, hired people to kill my father. Really? Yeah, he hired a guy to shoot him in the swimming pool because my father swam every morning. And he hired and, and to firebomb our house uh, to kill our whole family. And when I was a kid, our house was in a remote part of, at that time, a very remote part of Virginia, which was uh, McLean. It was before they built the highway, Dolly Madison Highway. So it was a place where a truck trucks would never come out there, a diesel truck, 18-wheeler. But when we were, well, our, our house was a, a very large property, uh, like six acres, but it was surrounded by roads and almost a square of roads. And those roads all day long, there would be, um, there would be trucks going around our place, blowing their horns uh, from the Teamsters Union. My, the Teamsters Union offices were right next to the Justice Department. My father famously left the Justice Department at 10 o'clock one night and was driving past the Teamsters Union office. And he looked up at hot. There was still lights on in Hoffa's office. So he went back to the office and worked. He went back to work because he didn't want to be outworked by Hoffa. So he did have a personal blood feud with him, I would say. And, uh, you know, they did arrest this. One of the guys came forward who was part of this murder um, plot to kill my father and confessed everything. Wow. Well, gladly nothing happened at that point. 